policies are in place, but what can actually be done to help these troubled homeowners and clean up the mortgage mess? Joining us now with his take is Greg Rand, radio host and CEO of real estate website Own America. This has been sort of a pet peeve of mine because, you know, here we have this settlement, the mortgage settlement, you know, with the banks telling them to clean up their practices and sort of passing judgment on them for better or for worse. At the same time, that leaves half of the mortgages out there or even more in in, just in limbo because Fannie and Freddie control those. And we're sort of ignoring that part of the problem. How do we fix that? Should we get rid of the GSEs? Getting rid of the GSEs, I think, is throwing the baby out with the bathwater. You know, they were constituted back in, you know, the Great Depression times, okay? They went public back in the 60s, and they worked really well for a really long time. Why? Well, got- what was good about the way that they worked? Because it seems like what they did was encourage home ownership as a value, and as we've learned through this downturn of, you know, housing values going down, that maybe home ownership isn't a value that we should all be Well, oh, I disagree to. with that. I think okay. they encouraged home ownership by virtue of making it, um, a, creating a stable mortgage market for people to be able to get mortgages that maybe are a little bit, there could be days or weeks or years where commercial banks would not want to lend as aggressively. Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac made it kind of a baseline, steady playing field. What they did in the 2000s by encouraging people to own homes and eliminating lending standards, that's where it went bad. And so if you look at the historical record on Fannie and Freddie, they made money, they made money for shareholders, they got paid back. They were making loans, as crazy as this sounds, making loans with the intent of being paid back. When they started making loans with the intent of encouraging home ownership to the point of the extreme, that's when the delinquency... So how do we fix it now? I don't mean to rush you, but we're really tight on time. How, okay. how can we fix the problem? All right. Well, the first thing is there's a lot of government-owned foreclosures right now that if you put them on the market, they sell. They sell like that, okay? Go to places like Phoenix, South Florida, California, where there's a lot of foreclosed properties putting, being put on the market. Home buyers and individual investors are gobbling them up. So first thing, get rid of that dreaded shadow inventory. Just market and sell them at market prices. Number two... Bring Fannie and Freddie, either obliterate them because they're too corrupted by government interference or, and start over I again. Vote for that. Um, but bring them back to where there's a ceiling on how much delinquency you'll accept. You know, don't, and put laws in place that do not let the Congress to interfere with creating this thing, turning it into a social engineering vehicle. Instead, make it something that's a private company, maybe with a government charter, a special deal to allow low rates. But lend money to get paid back. We only have about 30 seconds left, so I'll ask you a really tough question. Why is home ownership a value? I mean, I don't really own my house. I have a big mortgage on it. What's the difference between that and renting? Why do we try and Great convince question. everyone in America that's the American dream, own a house? It's really simple. I'll give you the financial argument for you. You have an expense to keep a roof over your head, right? You're going to have an expense for a roof over your head your whole life. Right. If you pay that expense to a landlord, you end up with nothing at the end to show for it. If you use that same expense to amortize a mortgage, you have a paid-off house to show for it. Very straightforward. Yeah, but it really only works out if the equity value of the house goes up. Yeah, and it will. Oh. <laughs> Not lately. <laughs> Greg Ram, thanks so much for joining us. You're a good sport. you got to come back. We appreciate it. Thank you.